Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Shalom, the Lord be with you, precious one. I'm so excited to come your way tonight with a quick word of encouragement for you, taken from the book of Luke, chapter 8, from verse 22 downwards. Here we see Jesus told his disciples, let us cross over to the other side. They were going there because there was a man who needed an immediate divine intervention and deliverance. On the way, Bible says that Jesus was asleep and a storm arose. When we look at this passage carefully, there were other little ships, but the enemy wasn't interested in the other little ships, interested in the one that Jesus and the disciples were in to capsize it so that they don't get to the man on the other side. But Jesus was asleep. Why? Because he has already spoken. He says, we are going to the other side. And therefore, no matter what will happen on the way, nothing will stop us. Nothing will terminate this journey. Somebody listening to me, you have a destiny and a journey to complete. In the middle of the way, storms will rise, challenges will come, people will mock you, attacks will come, but none of them can stop you from fulfilling God's purpose and fulfilling your destiny. Hallelujah. And when they tried all they could with their experience as fishermen, they couldn't solve the problem. They called on Jesus and Jesus rose up and came out. Hallelujah. Jesus was asleep, 100% man. But when he rose up, now the God factor, he's 100% God. He stood at the edge of the ship and said, peace, peace. Ill. Jesus called the storm that we call storm peace. So I get something here. Jesus is saying that what peace that is unsteady and that is unstable is what we call storm. So he says, peace be still. And the Bible says, and there was peace and a great calm. Hallelujah. Today I declare over you, wherever there is a peace that is unstable, where we will call storm that has risen in your life, I command it to be still in the name of Jesus. No matter what you go through, no matter what you face on the way, you will still get to the destination. And when they got there, this man who was at the Gandarines, the enemy, the demons have taken over his life. They wanted to kill him. He has been cutting himself wanted to commit suicide but there was something inside of him that would not allow him to die before his time therefore when jesus got there the demons manifest and jesus cast them out he said who are you and he said legion when we look at the army today when we talk about legion there are various departments or regiments. We call regiments, platoon, company, um, different, different sections. But a legion comprises of over 3,000 soldiers. So there were more than 3,000 demons, potential, dangerous, destructive suicidal demons that have taken this man captive to terminate his life. There was a word over Gandarines from Jacob over his son God. He said that God, a troop shall overtake you, but at the end you will overcome. And generations down the line, in the land of Gandarines, the descendants of God, we see that a troop, legion, has overtaken one of the descendants of God and wants to terminate his life, but there was a destiny he carried that could not be terminated. So these demons, the legion, were cast out. And Jesus says that, don't follow me, but go and tell of the good things you have seen. And the man left and went in Decapolis to publish the good things that Jesus had done. Decapolis is a confederation of ten cities. Ten cities, ten huge cities. He went and he evangelized in ten cities. So this man who wanted to kill himself, Having the legion this wanted to destroy him was a great evangelist, but he was attacked and he has been overtaken by demons. But when Jesus reached him, divine intervention, and he was delivered, he went about and the evangelistic ministry that was inside of him was birthed and he reached out to souls. Today I have come to declare to you, it is because of the destiny you carry, that is why the enemy has 
plotted and assigned. I don't care how many legions of demons the enemy has assigned to you. It is because of the great destiny you carry. Today, in the name of Jesus, may that destiny be fulfilled. You shall not die, but you will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. Let me say it again. Because of the ministry, the destiny you carry that will affect generations positively, you shall not die, but you will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord be with you. Don't die before your time. No storm, no matter how hard or how difficult or how rough it is, will terminate your destiny. The Lord keep you. The Lord preserve you. You are coming out of this pandemic better, more revived, refreshed, restored, favored in Jesus' name. God bless you. Bye-bye now.